Let's take a few moments and walk through the setup of the District app when you have it downloaded to your phone. This will be with an iPhone, but it should be fairly similar from Google Play. You'll open the app, and you can choose if it will you want it to send you notifications. I'm going to say OK, and then we have the welcome screen. I'm going to say choose from the list for the schools I'm interested in. For this case, I'm going to say Belton High School, we'll say Cambridge Elementary, and we'll say Grace Early Childhood. Don't worry because if you ever want to add schools to this list, it's easy to go into settings and make changes. For now, I'll just say next and I'll click finish. Top stories is your first choice up at the top. We have all of our posts, actually just the top five posts from Twitter and Facebook will appear here and any we have on our website. As I mentioned before, our website is going through an update, so some of the items will not be appearing here for some time, but it should be ready to go by the start of the school year. Here's where you see the top five posts. I just tap home to get back to home. And here I have the activity stream. The activity stream takes all of our social media accounts and posts the stories here. So it's more than five that the top stories would be. It also has calendar items for the schools you subscribe to. By default, you'll always get the master calendar items. So here was Memorial Day where there was no school at Hillcrest. And you would see any calendar items specific to the schools you chose to subscribe to. To get back home, I just tap home and here's calendar. So calendar, I'm now subscribed to the calendar. I chose the high school, I chose Cambridge, and I chose Grace. So let's go back to April, for example, just so you get an idea of what it looks like. You'll notice here was the choir awards banquet at the high school. If I touch another one, you can see on May 3rd, it was Cambridge's book fair, Grace's field day, a sixth grade band concert at Mill Creek, which was on the master calendar, and the seventh and eighth grade spring band concert at the middle school, which was also on the master calendar. We're going to tweak that and make it only where the items are on the specific building calendars. So if you don't have students at those schools, those won't populate for the 16-17 school year. I would touch home again to get back to the events. I can touch news. And here's more of a picture view of what would be what has been posted on all of our various social media accounts. I can touch home and I can swipe to the side. Here's where the exciting part comes in. You have access to Peach Jar, which is all of the schools um, that you've subscribed to. These would be all the electronic flyers at your fingertips to be able to see and take action on should you want to. Here's one that was posted for Belton High School, Cambridge Elementary, it's Summer Learning with Gifted and Talented. If I want to see it up closer, here's where I can pinch and zoom to read more. All of the information I would need is here. I can tap back, Peach Jar. Here's the list again. Reserve your spot for a college prep webinar. This one's for the high school. It's a great way to stay informed, so if you happen to miss the email when you get them, this is how you'll easily have access to all the flyers for the buildings you subscribe to. You can also change the view if you'd rather see them this way, or in list form, I just clicked the grid up at the top to do that. Touch home. The next one will be the directory. This one is how, if you want to see the staff at each building, you can touch upon it to take a view. Let's say I want to know who our Board of Education members are. I can see here that all of their information is here, and how to contact them, and you can also add them to your contacts. It would be that way for any staff member here. Note that we obviously have staff member changes because of the start of a new school year, so we will be adding and making changes to all of these as well. This is the part we'll be working on throughout the summer. Parent Connect will take you um, right to Tyler SIS, which is our student information system. They also have a new app coming out, so this may change over the summer. But for now, it's the parent portal, so you could zoom in and be able to use the parent portal right from here. Menus. This takes you to Sodexo's website to see the menus for the students. They also are having an app come out, and so you would have access to be able to see what the menu items are. Sports. This one is where you can touch it. You tap change in the top right corner, touch belt in the high school, and you would go down and find the sports you wanted to get information on. If I wanted varsity boys baseball, I could touch that and it would take you to Max Preps, which shows you what their scores were and how they have been performing. This is another one where we may make some changes, but for now that's how it links for you to stay in touch with how the different sports are. Once I've touched on it, if I go back, 
if I go back, <laughs> it's supposed to say change. There it is. It's the recently viewed. So you would have a quick list already there for you so you don't have to go back and search again. Home, superintendent. This takes you right to the superintendent's message uh, for the district. This will change periodically. It will be linked to the one that is on the website. Sprigio. If you have a bullying incident, you or your child need to report. This takes you right to that account to be able to make a report of bullying or other incidents you may notice, and it goes to the appropriate administrators and counselors at your child's school so that action can be taken. Treasures. This is one we're excited about. Submit your treasure here. We might give a student or staff member a shout out on social media. He or she will be notified of your kind words. You can take a picture. You can choose the category here. So this is a way that you saw someone showing pirate pride, or if you saw someone demonstrating one of our pirate principles, or you want to give someone a simple thank you. Let's say I want to give someone a thank you. I can choose which school. Let's say it was at the middle school and include location. That would be your location services. You don't need to. We do have these made anonymous. And then you just type up here what it was. And here I key in what I'm looking for. I think. Mr. Arnold. You would click done, click submit. And then it says a tip code. If you would need it, you could take a screenshot of this. And now it comes to me because I'm the one who would pass this on. And then it takes you back to the home screen. If you tap on photos, this again is exclusive actually to our Instagram account. So if you wanted to see the Instagram feed and share what was going on, this is how you can do that. If you touch home, you can touch YouTube to be connected to our YouTube channels. This is the BSD Communications YouTube channel. You can also say change, and there is also a link to the Hillcrest STEAM Academy and Belton High School's YouTube channels. I touch home. Resources is another one. This is one that's going to be changing over the summer, but depending on the schools you subscribe to, you would have information that would take it to in um, items specific for you and your family. This one right now only has alumni informa information. You might actually see Destiny, which is our library services. You might see connections to um, other support websites if you would need them. This this will change and we'll make it based on what the needs are of each school community. I would go back, touch home, swipe over one more time. Here's where settings are. Should you want to follow other schools? Should you need to change your language? And should you want to reset any to default, start over, and have it subscribe to you again? Here's where you can do that. We hope you have a great summer. And remember, we are always proud to be pirates.